So for this video, I will be officially announcing the Stephen King Clue Readathon, which will be taking place, of course, on the Bookish Drummer Discord during the month of October. It will start October 1st and it will end on October 31st, Halloween night. Ooh. And before I get into the juicy details, I know a lot of people will be asking this. A lot of people have already asked this. No, you do not have to read Stephen King to participate in the readathon. I will say that again. You do not have to read Stephen King to participate in the readathon. It is strictly a Stephen King based readathon, but you do not have to read Stephen King to participate. Okay, so what is exactly the Stephen King Clue readathon? It's going to be different than last year's Stephen King readathon, and frankly, different than the rest of our readathons that we've done that have all been kind of points based and a winner is announced at the end of the readathon. Whoever has the most points wins. For this one, there's going to be six teams. And instead of it being points based, it's going to be a race to the finish line. And like I said, it is based on the board game Clue. So basically, the team that finds out the answer to who done it and who was killed and where they were killed and what weapon was used. Whoever team gets that answer first is victorious. And of course it is Stephen King themed. So the suspects are all Stephen King villains and then the victims are all Stephen King protagonists. The weapons are all kind of Stephen King based and the locations of course are all Stephen King based. So that's why it's a Stephen King clue readathon. And the six teams, there will be six teams this time that you can choose from. The six teams are team Dexter, which will be Dexter and Deborah Morgan from the show Dexter. And there's going to be team Harry Dresden and Murphy from the Dresden Files. There's team Nancy Drew, which is Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys. There's also team Hercule Poirot with Poirot and Hastings. There's also team Scooby-Doo with uh, Shaggy and Scooby as a team. And then finally, team Sherlock Holmes, which is Holmes and Watson. So those are the six teams you can choose from. And if you are interested, I did write a three page short story that kind of explains why all of these characters are together trying to figure out this Stephen King mystery. I did write a three page story. Uh, if you're interested, I will link that down below along with all of the various uh, details and stuff for the readathon. Stacy put together a giant Google doc that will have all of the uh, stuff available. So uh, use that link down below and uh, yeah, you'll be good to go. But basically the main idea for the short story is that Stephen King is writing another Dark Tower novel where Roland has summoned all of these various Stephen King characters to a mansion just outside of the Dark Tower. And it's supposed to be like a, a nod to Agatha Christie whodunits where he's going to have this random <laughs> whodunit mystery in this random Dark Tower novel. But he's lost his outline for the mystery. So even he doesn't remember how the mystery is supposed to go. And all of a sudden, <laughs> these random kooky, uh, like mystery characters from various TV shows and books and stuff kind of just appear at his door and they say, oh, Roland uh, from The Gunslinger has summoned us to figure out this mystery. It's very goofy, uh, but it's gonna be a fun time. So those are the six teams you can choose from. Dexter, Dresden, Nancy Drew, Poirot, Scooby-Doo, and Sherlock Holmes. So like I said, this readathon is not points based. So there won't be a winner determined by whoever has the most points. It's a race to the finish line. And every time your team reads a certain number of books, uh, which will be determined based on how many people actually participate in the readathon. But let's just say, for example, like every time your team reads three books, you get a clue as to what isn't the answer. And I will put up the scorecard here where it's list all of the different possibilities for the answer. There's 14 suspects, 14 victims, 13 weapons and 13 locations. So I think that adds up to 54. So in order for your team to basically get the correct answer, you'd have to get 50 clues. So 
you're gonna have to read a lot of books to figure out what the clue is. And whoever does that first wins. The catch is though, your team can only submit one solution. It's not like you can send in as many as you want. You can only send in one clue and whoever does it first is the winner. So let's just say your team reads its first three books. You would get a clue, let's just say, oh, uh, the answer is not a bowling pin as a weapon, which is not like an actual answer. That's just for an example. So your team would cross that off, be like, okay, well, it's not the bowling pin. And then you just keep going until you figure out the real answer. And me and Stacy know the real answer. So sadly, we will not be participating because we already know the answer, but there will be a way that we can participate. And I'll explain that a little later on in the video. So that's the basic gist of it all. Your team uh, gets more clues, the more books they read and whoever gets the most clues until they figure out the solution first is the winner. And we'll, we won't be announcing, we won't, we're not gonna be doing scoreboard updates. So no one's gonna know which team is ahead or behind. And we're not going to announce the winner until the very end. So it'll be a lot of fun. And in order to get clues for your teams, you have to read books that satisfy these prompts. Uh, there are 30 prompts and we're, we're gonna have a limit here. One person can only read 19 books. Of course, 19 being a good Stephen King number. One person can only read 19 books. But unlike past readathons, you can reuse prompts if you want to. It's still only one book per prompt. So you'd have to do 19 books for 19 prompts. But if you wanted to, you could do, you know, only 10 different prompts for 19 books. But the catch is that there will be an added bonus for teams that satisfy more and more prompts. So if your team specifically does 10 different prompts, you'll get two additional clues. And then if you do 20 of the 30 prompts, your team gets another two clues. And then if you do all 30 of the prompts as a team, you get more clues. So even though you can re reuse prompts if you want to, uh, it would be probably a better idea to get together as a team and collaborate and say, okay, we're all gonna do these 30 different prompts so that we can get more clues. We are going to be bumping up the page minimum. So you have to read 200 page books versus 150 page books like we've been doing. So they have to be at least 200 pages. Also again, no manga or comic books or picture books. They have to be book books. And I'm not gonna go over the, the list of prompts here extensively. They're all pretty much self-explanatory. I might do a recommendations video just going over the prompts in another video to give y'all some suggestions. But for here, they're pretty self-explanatory. And again, uh, one person can only read 19 books. You can reuse prompts if you want to, but for the sake of your team, you might wanna try to organize it to where you know, you're reading as many different prompts as possible. And like I said, depending on how many people actually sign up for the readathon, it'll probably be between two or three books. Every time your team reads two or three books, your team will get a clue as to what is not the answer. So, yep, whoever figures it out first is the winner. Also, I almost forgot to mention one of the cool parts for this readathon. So before the readathon even starts, of course, you're gonna use the sign up link down below in the description box below, and we'll try our best to put you on your first option for whatever team you want. If not, you'll get your second option. And when you do that, you will also submit your dummy guess for what the solution is. And if you happen to get it right, I will give you a free book off of Amazon. Uh, it, you probably won't get it because the likelihood I think is like one in 30,000 chance. So it's pretty unlikely that you would get it because you'd have to get one out of 14 suspects, one out of uh, 14 uh, victims, <laughs> that's the word, one out of 13 weapons and one out of 13 locations. And the odds of getting all of those correct just out of the gate, pretty slim. But if you happen to get it correct, I will give you a free book. So that's another cool part of this readathon. Uh, you will not get a free book for being on the winning team. Just if you happen to guess it 
right off the bat. And like I mentioned before, since me and Stacy are the creators of this readathon, we already know the solution to the Clue readathon. So we will not be on any teams this time around. We usually are, and it's usually a lot of fun. But since we already know the solution, well, we shouldn't be because <laughs> uh, we don't want to give anything away. But one cool way that we will be participating is that, you know, of course, we will be reading books because we're book nerds. Uh, every time we finish a book, we will be spinning a wheel. So Stacy will have a wheel, I will have a wheel, and whatever this wheel lands on, depending on what it lands on, a team will get a free clue. And there are some wheel spin options here that I'll put on screen. Uh, in the middle, you'll see options that are for both wheels that'll, that will be on me and Stacy's wheels. So there will be options for it to land on just any specific team. And there's also going to be options like, you know, who's read the most books or who's read the most pages or the least books or least pages. Uh, and then, you know, there's some that are just on Stacy's, like who's ever read the most Stacy favorites or who's read the most Riley Sager books. And then there's going to be stuff on my wheel, like who's read the most King books or who's read the most... Um, like Jake's favorites or Jake's least favorites. So I'll have I'll have those graphics up here. So like Stacy's favorites, so like her favorite kind of horror thriller books. And then there's also my list for like my favorite thriller or horror books. And then funny enough, I, ask, I also have Jake's least favorite horror and thriller books, which some of these are pretty popular and some people actually really like these. So you might be interested to read it. And then you know, if it lands on that, like whatever team has read the most of these books, we'll get a free clue. And like I said, this will happen every time me and Stacy finish a book. We'll spin the wheel and we'll see what it lands on. And once you're assigned to a team, we'll put you in your team chat. And within that team chat, there will be a submission form pinned in the chat. So every time you finish a book, you will submit your book and we'll make sure that it goes to your team. And like I said, every time your team reads either two or three books, your team will get a clue. And once that happens, we'll let your team know you get a clue and we'll be keeping track. And then hopefully you guys will also be keeping track. And yeah, I think this will be a lot of fun. It's definitely a lot different than our past readathons where it's strictly points based and whoever has the most points at the end wins. This will be different and it will also be interesting to see how quickly you guys get the answer hopefully it's not too quick like hopefully no team finishes and there's like half of october to go i don't think that will happen but hopefully you guys aren't like super struggling by the end like oh we have like two days left and we need to read like 20 more books we don't really know how it's gonna go like we kind of took the average of like okay for these past readathons you know, the average person will read about this many books. So if there's this many people on a team, it should be good to do it this way. So, uh, you know, we're kind of experimenting here. And this is kind of a goofy premise to begin with, with having Stephen King with all of these like, like Scooby-Doo. <laughs> like when we thought of that, we were like, this is going to be pretty fun and goofy. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, it will be and probably at the end of the readathon, we'll ask y'all like if you guys liked the previous Stephen King readathon more than the Clue readathon. But if you guys like this Clue readathon, we might do it again next year, or we might mix it up and do another board game or something. These readathons are just a lot of fun. So hopefully you guys enjoy it as much as we enjoyed putting it all together. All right, so that's all the information I have for the Stephen King clue readathon uh if i missed anything i'm sure stacy will be in the comments uh you know letting me know what i missed and let's just give a quick shout out to stacy because like usual she really did most of the hard work here in getting all of these graphics that i'm showing y'all right now she is a whiz with this kind of stuff and if it wouldn't be for her uh these readathons would suck because i know nothing about putting graphics together or spreadsheets or anything. So really, 
everybody go thank Stacy because she puts in a lot of legwork for these readathons and I'm just sitting in front of the camera looking pretty. <laughs> Not even doing that well. But yeah, if you guys are interested in joining the Stephen King Clue Readathon, we will have the Google Doc down below where you can go sign up for the Readathon, and then we'll have the Discord link where after you're assigned, we will put you in a team chat. And the in the team chat, uh, there will be a pinned submission form for submitting your books. So yeah, that's all I've got for you today. Hopefully you guys join and hopefully we have a good time. And what do you think is the solution? For those of you who don't necessarily want to join the readathon, but they want to join in on the fun to see what the solution is, I'll post the clue card here. And if you think you know the solution, comment down below. Uh, if you get it right, uh, I might send you a free book. Maybe. <laughs> uh, we'll see. But yeah, it, it, it'll be fun. Uh, and also, like I said, I did write a short story that kind of explains how all of this is happening in the Stephen King multiverse. And at the end, when the solution is revealed, I will have a short story that kind of explains <laughs> what happened. Um, it's very goofy, but I hope y'all enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and have a fantastic day.